Art isn't meant to be funny. It's meant to be uplifting or confronting or reveal something about the human condition. So why is the NGV this summer adorning its walls with the hilarious and poorly drawn cartoons and illustrations of English artist David Shrigley? He's an artist who we were very interested to show. Because of the complexity of his work, its humour, the way that it actually engages with contemporary moral issues, with um, questions um, relating to art history but everyday life. His drawings say just as much about the human condition as any other work in this institution. The exhibit is a real adult amusement park, from trying a hand at some life drawing to watching a robotic head randomly draw patterns with its nostrils. I've suffered critically because my work has a very comic strand to it. Earlier in my career, I kind of denied the, the comic nature of it. I wanted people to know that the work was serious somehow. There is definitely a long tradition of humour in contemporary art, right from Marcel Duchamp, André Breton and the Surrealists. Comedy is sublime, it's special, it's very important, it's something that we need, it's the one sense that you can't do without. a strict no backpack policy, something that didn't go unnoticed under Shrigley's observant eye. So how does this prankster react? Well by including an enormous to scale backpack that can be worn by volunteers around the gallery. It's every curator's worst nightmare. When you're sitting around here, you're almost the wall, it's totally fine, but you didn't. But okay. Just be careful where you are. He's very interested in the absurdities of everyday life. Um, and he often draws our attention to humble moments, everyday occurrences, uh, in quite both humorous but also profound ways. The comedy is the one thing that uh, keeps you alive, I suppose, when you want to talk about these things. His work is both hilarious but despairing at the same time. The stars of the show are his illustrations with their scribbled uneven lines, crossed out words and darkly funny observations of the world. People often ask, say, are you an outsider artist or something like that? And I, I say, well, no, I did learn to draw. I guess it's just not really that important. It's a big part of what I do is to try and avoid contrivance and I'm trying striving for the opposite of that, for some kind of intuitive, accidental um, moment. <laughs> 